that I did, but it's just a piece of plywood. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Let's get started. All right, you see this is a lot of little details and so I like to spray them. Let's see, what side do I wanna do? I guess this side, so I'm gonna spray it. Now I like to spray my stencils um, and so they'll go down flat so they won't seep underneath. Um, and I use Easy Tack. I get it at Michael's, or I got this one at Michael's a year or two ago, probably. So I'm just gonna take it and spray it. I'm gonna spray it over here over my trash can real quick. All right, so I just sprayed the back of it. And I'm just gonna try to center it as best I can, which I'm usually terrible at that. I think it's good. Actually, it looks pretty centered. All right, now, I'm going to try to just use the paint that I used in my paint pour, which was Couture Copper, okay? Because it's more of a orangey, see? It's a more of an orangey, and I used it in the paint pour, so I don't want to get too far off of that. All right, so I'm going to be using embossing medium. Now, let me show you. I carry this as well. All right, let me get a little hickey to spread it with. So I'll just use this. Now I'm going to mix up some right here. So y'all can y'all could use the DIY pigments. Um, you could use any pigment and mix it in any texture. Okay. But I'm using paint. I'm just going to use paint and see how it does because I just want to um, got my hurry up britches on and I just want to get it done. Alright, so I'm going to add some embossing medium on here. You can see I only have half a tube. I'm probably not going to have enough, but it's okay. All right, and so here's the paint. Just stirring it up because this paint actually has mica powder in it. So it will settle to the bottom. So you have to stir it up really well. These are my favorite metallics. They are just beautiful. They're so pretty. All right, so so I'm just gonna add until I like it, the color, okay? Now, so I've just got the uh, embossing medium. I just poured some out onto this um, plate and I, I poured metallic paint into it, okay? So I'm trying to get a copper finish. But see, I can, st I can see the sheen in there, it's really pretty. Kind of eyeballing it over here. Okay, I think that looks good. And it is kind of, can y'all see it kind of, it is, it is have a sheen, so it's nice and coppery. May could use a tad more, but it's okay. Now, I'm also gonna take some gold, uh, it's gold glitter. And it's just a glitter additive, like for paints or resin or something like that. And this, I don't know what it does, but the gold and the copper look really good together. I'm just gonna spoon in some, a little bit of copper glitter. You can use, I mean, gold glitter. You could just use regular glitter. This is just something I had ordered a while back, so I thought I'd use it. So even the gold glitter kind of gets covered up quite a bit. But it, you still see that subtle sparkle. I'm gonna add a little bit more. All right, so let's just, let's just go with this. I'm gonna see how this does. It's not as shimmery as I would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on his head so I can at least pull that up and show you guys. Um, 
if I don't have enough stuff. Cause I'm gonna kind of pile it on. Kind of do this a little smoother. Embossing medium is kind of like modeling paste. But it's even creamier than that. And then there's joint compound. And like I said, I did try joint compound, but it didn't show any sheen. It's like it, it, dulled, it dulled the metallic paint. I don't know, which was fine. Like I said, that would have been fine if I hadn't seen what, how it looked with the embossing medium, which I liked better. And I probably, I'm not sure yet, but, and I never really know what I'm doing until I'm done, but I probably will resin it when I'm done. Could use a bigger, I think I may use a bigger, uh, bigger putty knife. That's what I actually have. Let's do this. A little faster and have some not so little strokes. Hmm. See how I didn't make near enough, but I just wanted to see how the color would work. And you could also like, um, you could add some glitter on top of this if you wanted it really glittery. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I if I can just pour this out. But this, let me show y'all, this is kind of like a lotion. It's like a thick lotion and it's very, very creamy. So it's best if you can, I guess, to just make up a whole big batch at one time. So you'll get the same, pretty much the same color. And look, if you don't get the exact same color, once you're done, you can make up a little batch and just go all over the top of it. So this is a little bit of a different color. Just a little bit more. Probably gonna end up using the whole little. See what I say? You can just kind of go back over where you've already gone and. Ooh, I like how that that did. Like it had some of the gold just kind of came out on its own, or in blotches. I think I'm probably will have enough embossing medium. I didn't think I would. So I'm gonna have to just keep mixing it up. So I like, I wanna keep the consistency kind of thick on here. But this is kind of like icing cupcakes. <laughs> Which I don't mind making cupcakes, and I, I do like to ice them. But I don't like icing, I just like the cake. So I'll always just wipe the icing off and eat the cup. fun anyway, just mixing it all up. <laughs>
And I think I like not mixing it totally, like this, and then let's see. I'm going to do it like that. See, and get some of that gold just kind of... I mean, not the gold, but the copper paint just kind of in there by itself. See, I'm going to go back just over the top, just so it'll be the same, pretty much. Can you see? I've got, I just kind of, ooh, there we go. There you can see it. Peanut butter with some gold. <laughs> All right, I think I like that. So here we go. Let's see which way should I start. Start down up here. Now you, I'll have to, I'll have to wash this stencil right away because the stuff will dry and harden, okay? So I'm going to let this dry overnight because it will harden. thick it is. Look at that. I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Come all the way down. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, I will let this dry. Uh, you know, I'm not going to touch it for a while. That's another problem of mine. I touch things before they're dry. But I hope to see you soon. I will be back soon. So have a great night. Bye.